victoria. No, lo primero que todo, gracias por el apoyo, que significa mucho para mí, ya que logré un paso más en mi carrera y, y para seguir demostrando que todavía estoy activo y, y pues, si puedo seguir dando el problema a todos los negociadores de la división. Se hizo, se sintió un poco rápido, bien, eh, se descantojó fácil, ¿no? Él venía ya con su propósito, ¿eh? como dijo en la conferencia, no sé si se acuerdan, el día de PESCONF, eh, que me iban a quedar y parece que eso fue lo que lo motivó a, a venir al frente y se encontró con el golpe. Cricket Translate. Yeah, he, he said, um, you know, the, he, he hit him with a harsh, sharp shot. He said, yeah, well, he thinks that Lamada, and his mindset going into the fight was, I'm going to knock out Laura, and he, and, he, and he ran right into the punch, you know, he, he walked him right into the, into the shot, so. It was a picture perfect shot. It kind of reminded me of, 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 of when, uh, when Martinez hit Paul Whitney with that one overhand left hand and just put him right out, you know? Do you think he was a qualified and credible opponent for you? You could have got it and qualified for the Mundial with Muchachos? Todos los boxeadores son calificados. Lo, tú lo, tú, cualquier boxeador que sube en cualidad lo va a pelear contra el boxeador. El puntuador de boxeador, ahí te dan cuenta que está calificado. Yeah, it says every, every fighter who steps in the ring for him is qualified, you know? And, and, and you know, you always got to be prepared because there could be upsets. Because you saw, you know, You'll see that uh, when Luis beat Joshua or when Tyson beat, when Buster beat Tyson, you just gotta be ready at all times, you know? And, and, and like he says, every fighter steps in the ring. For, for him, they both is right. I mean, the press conference is already taking longer than the fight. Would he have liked to have more rounds? ¿Te gustaría pelear un poco más sobre la pelea? ¿Pelear? ¿Pelear más Es que lo que pasa, cuando yo peleo más rounds, me critican. Cuando peleo, que se acaba rápido la pelea también. Entonces, no sé qué decir. He says, you know, when he boxes a guy and embarrasses him for 12 rounds, they, they critique him and they say that he's not excited and he's boring. Now he knocks a guy out in 30 seconds or a minute. Now they're saying, well, should, you should have took the fight longer. So, you know, he, 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 you know, he can't win either way. He's saying, you know, he, he just got to do his job and keep winning. ¿Qué viene ahora? Viene ahora, bueno, ahora voy para mi casa y a descansar y esperar que Ivani, que Cuba y uno y a Jaime se haga cargo de los demás. He's going to go home, he's going to rest, he's going to wait for his team, you know, to put together the plan, but, but the plan is now, you know, is for Laura to fight a big fight, it's not, and it's not because he doesn't want to, you know, these guys, are, in reality, they're not winning the fight, I mean, when, he, when they are willing, you see he's in big fights and he's in tough fights, he's fought in the toughest fights in the division. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're right, people did call you boring, but you've had a great stretch now, the fight with Hurd was the fight of the year, the fight with Castaño was really good too, so you had a few easier fights after that, which no one can blame you for. What do you want next? I, I, I want to see the Jared Hurt fight. I told Bluey. Dice que todo el mundo puede decir lo que quieren, pero algo que tienen de pelear de una buena, buena pelea. Tenía la pelea del año con Hurt. Tenía una pelea buena con Castaño. Ahora viene de dos no cada uno en otra pelea. Él es el cantil de la pelea, la revancha de Hurt. ¿Qué pelea te gusta a ti? A mí me gusta cualquiera. A mí me gusta cualquiera de la edición, la que venga. El problema es que ellos quieran pelear conmigo. Muchos de ellos se les piden la revancha y no quieren pelear. Yeah, he's, he says, uh, you know, he'll fight anybody, he, you know, that he, he wants to fight the best. The problem here is, you know, he wants to fight and they don't. You know, we've been we've been trying to get the Jared Hurd uh, fight immediately after the fight, you know, and, and, and you know, he wasn't success, successful doing that. Hurd wanted, didn't want to fight him, so uh, he says he'll, he, he's willing to fight whoever. You've already accomplished a lot, 154 pounds. Um, is 160 just more comfortable for you now and more, you have new goals? ¿Tú crees que te sientes más cómodo para ti o te gustaría ir para atrás con 54 a 60? Me siento cómodo también en el 54 y en 60. En sí, yo siempre he caminado en 154. Tengo toda mi vida entera, mi carrera entera en, en esa división, en 54 libras. Y, y creo que subir a 160 me sentí un poquito más cómodo, pero en sí me siento bien en la hora. Dice que se siente bastante cómodo en ambos weight classes. Él sabe que 54 ha sido su carrera toda, incluyendo en Cuba. Creo que he sido en esa weight class 19 años, quiero decir. You know, at 54, so so he did feel stronger at 60, but you know, he, he obviously he doesn't know the bigger fights at 54. Hey, Louis, for you, you know, because you manage him, what big fight for you do you think makes the most sense for him, like uh, name wise, within the, the PBC stable? And I think the winner of the, the Charlo and, and Castagna fight would be a great fight, right? They're going to need a, a top level guy. And, and, and like, like Mike said, the Herb rematch was the fight of the year, was sensational. You know, um, and I think there's a lot of, you know, Guys like Danny Garcia wants to move up to 54. That would be, you know, a classic fight in the Cuban and Mexican. I mean, Cuban and Puerto Rican, and, and and you know he's gonna have his eyes on him. You know, anyone else is there, but I, obviously I think if one jumps out, it's the winner of Charlo and, and Castagna. So just to be clear, he's gonna go back and forth with divisions depending on the fight. He's definitely gonna be going back and forth, but his preference is probably 54. You know, but but uh, he looked pretty damn sharp tonight. You know, and, and 
I've been kind of telling them that as you watched Hopkins Lucky shot. stayed at 60. <laughs> stay, stayed at 60 so long. Um, and then when he did move up to 68, he, you know, gave him, rejuvenated him, you know what I'm saying? So, so me personally, I would like my 60 yeah, because I think it's so much easier for him to make weight, but he does understand the big fights at 54. And like he says, he can make 54 pretty well as well. Yeah, the Charlo fight could be the biggest one out there, though. Is that something where he would be comfortable immediately after, or would he need another fight at 160? Well, we're saying Charlo at 54. That's, that's the fight he wants to win. The, uh, you're saying Charlo at 60? Yeah. Te gustaría pelear con Charlo también 60 o por qué? Tuvimos muchos años entrenando juntos, pero sé que pelear es que pelear. Como si fuera una familia. He said, you know, Jamal's like family to him. You know, more Jamal than Jamal. They've been working together for a lot of years. But he says, this is boxing. You know, it's a sport. And, and you know, I'm pretty sure NBA players are good friends. They got to play. So he's got to fight. He's got to fight. Yeah, Louis, um, obviously, Laura is getting older now, but he's accomplished a lot. You were saying, like, how much older do you think he can be at this top level? You see a lot of longevity for him? Man, big time. I mean, I, I, I go to the gym every time with it, like, expecting him to fall off, you know, and I'm like waiting for it, and it's like, Jesus, the guy doesn't get old, you know, and like, I, the perfect reference is Hopkins. People don't give him, people start to give Hopkins more credit the longer his career went on, but but what he's been able to do at this top level and keep fighting these guys and, and, and you know, whether they're top guys or the guys like Lamana, you know, just to get in there and get the road work at the, at the age of what he's accomplished is pretty amazing. Yeah, I was on the, like, how many years do you want to fight? How long are you going to be there? Until I feel good, until I feel good. At the moment, I feel good. I'm not a boxer that... He says he, he says he feels great, you know, until his body tells him he can't do it no more. He, he's a fighter, he doesn't feel he's taking a lot of punishment, a lot of punches in his career. And, and he thinks he's got at least another three years of prime boxing life, you know. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys.